Welcome back, my friends. Flint Central High School was once a vibrant institution, the Flint Cultural District. Now it's, in, it's empty right now. That's why there's a new film. It's looking to bring its rich history and legacy back to life. It is my pleasure, my pleasure to have Gary Fisher joining me. How are you? Very good, very good. Happy good. to be here. Oh, this is so exciting. Why are you so passionate about bringing this legacy history to life? Well, I'm a graduate of Flint Central and I'm the president of the Genesee County Historical Society, so uh, we have an interest in anything that's historical, yeah. obviously, but because of that, that particular school and, and, and my relationship to it and knowing the history of it, I was amazed when I saw that a young film director by the name of Lance Johnson was making a documentary about it, and so he asked me to be a part of it, and then as we started unraveling the history, people are always just amazed by it. You have to tell us some of the highlights that I was just amazed yes. you're telling me about. Yeah, so people, you know, people see the crumbling yes. school and it's falling apart and sort of left uh, abandoned. They don't think about, and why would they? Because there's nobody telling the story that no. Flint High School, which became Flint Central, produced Billy Durant, who founded General Motors, saved Buick, invented Chevrolet, AC spark plugging, invented Frigidaire. Wow. You have Clarence Kelly Johnson, who was considered by the American Aviation Association the second most important person in all aviation history. Mm. Um, invented the U-2 spy plane, the first American fighter jet, the SR-71 Blackbird. You have uh, Frank Price, who reinvented Hollywood. He did uh, one Academy Award, oh, major motion goodness. pictures, ran Columbia Stu uh, motion pictures. Bernice Stedman mm. who was one of the first female astronauts in world history. Wow. And, and that's all all local. I mean, these yes. are people right from yes. the Flint area. I love this. You have an exclusive event that's coming up. Tell us about this event. We do, we do. So the film premiered um, a few weeks ago, yeah. and then we sponsored another showing of it on Friday, April 12th, and that sold out like boom, fast. Mm. And so we set up a second showing of it, which is Friday, April 12th at 8.30, and we still have some tickets left, and you can get them at uh, geneseehistory.org. GeneseeHistory.org. Yeah. Okay, so where is the film playing? When it's can playing people at see it? Tr NCG Trillium Theaters in Grand Blank, um, right off of uh, 475. I have to ask you, what do you hope people take away when they go and see this film? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. I hope they realize that um, when people think of Flint in general and Flint Central in particular, that the narrative that's been been fed to them and all people think about or hear about is um, a, a movie that took shots at Flint years ago or That's the water right. crisis. That's right. But that doesn't define who we are as a community or who the graduates are. And in fact, when we talk specifically about Flint Central, the individual human beings that walked those halls and mm. matriculated there and went to school there and graduated from there, not changed, didn't just change Michigan and the city of Flint, but changed the world. And we want to celebrate that and we're thrilled that there's a movie that does exactly that. And people will walk away, I think, being uh, inspired. Yes. Some people were in tears, mm. um, people were clapping and they realize that the story of Flint that's been told and Flint Central is, yeah. is, is not accurate and this documentary captures the spirit of it in a way that we really want to celebrate. So if you want to go capture the spirit of Flint and that's learn right. about the Trailblazers, this is the film for you. We will have more information about the film in our hot link section, where to go and when it's going. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you for Appreciate having us. Of course. This is so exciting. I learned so much today. Well, I'm glad I could be of assistance. Of course. We appreciate you. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4 p.m. News at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight.